Guys, as we look here, we see the tight end receiving yards leaders from week one. And who do you see at the top there? Hunter Henry, Barry, who has to be somebody that obviously is going to be a priority waiver wire claim if you need a tight end. I mean, he got 56 receiving yards and led the position, which just goes to show you how gross. We need Kelsey uh, back. Yeah, I mean, Andrews we really do. And Mark Andrews yeah. back. I mean, we need the whole crew back. But the fact of the matter is, is yeah, look, Hunter Henry is going to be a thing. We talked about him in the preseason as well. 72% route participation in week num hit a week one. His 42 routes were the thir third most on the team. We know that he's always been good in the red zone. We know that him and Mac Jones have a connection. We know that Bill O'Brien likes to run 12 personnel quite a bit and that Hunter Henry is significantly ahead of Mike Gusecki in terms of the pecking order there. So, you know, think about think the, the play the Dolphins this week and they're at the Jets you don't love at, at Dallas. So it's some, some tough matchups here, but because there's tough matchups, you think maybe he gets peppered a little bit uh, more. Again, 556 and a touchdown. He's available in 84% of leagues. Next guy on the list for me is Luke Musgrave, who we've talked a lot about. He should have had a touchdown in this one. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, it just falling backwards and, you know, just Jordan Love didn't hit him correctly, but he led the team in routes run in week one. He played on 75% of the offensive snaps, and now he gets the Falcons that just gave up, you know, five, five receptions and a touchdown to Hayden Hurst. Yep, and also just the Packers, their schedule the first half of the season is incredibly kind. New Orleans after Atlanta is tougher, but then Detroit at the Raiders, like, they will be able to face them. There's a very real chance that, and particularly with Christian Watson's injury concerns and Romeo Dobbs is still unproven, he could be Jordan Love's go-to guy. The final one there, Hayden Hurst, of course, who could become a favorite target of the young quarterback and Bryce Young. Targeted seven times, caught five ca uh, passes for 41 yards. Most importantly, bury the touchdown in this one, too. Yeah, look, they play New Orleans this week, and they're traditionally very tough against tight ends, so I don't know that I would love Hayden Hurst this week. But then at Seattle, home to Minnesota, at Detroit, so it's a nice schedule after the Saints this week. And again, honestly, like, I, I don't know how much you watch that game, but like, listen, I love Adam Thielen. He's a friend of the show. He's been on the show. He's awesome, but like, it... There's a reason he's not on the Vikings yeah. anymore. A lot right? of time catch up to everyone, Barry. You I mean, know a lot about that. <laughs> I do. Factually correct. <laughs> Believe me. Adam Thielen, like, you know, me yeah. and Adam Thielen. Uh, I get it, brother. Uh, so, yeah, with, you know, especially with DJ Shark banged up as well. Hayden Hurst, again, young quarterback that wants to be uh, – that young quarterback that wants to be conservative. And let's be clear, Frank Reich has used the tight end traditionally, when it, whether it was in Philadelphia, Indianapolis. Like, the tight end is usually a big part of the kind of plays that Frank Reich – calls as well so Hayden Hurst just want to mention listen we're hoping to get Travis Kelsey and Mark Andrews back this week but if they don't Noah Gray and Isaiah Likely I know it was brutal for Isaiah Likely but the fact is it was brutal for the entire Ravens offense they didn't need to pass that much just a weird game Lamar was terrible as well yeah. against the Houston defense didn't really make sense felt like a very much a growing pains game under Todd Monken yeah and also just want to mention this that just before we had went on air Denver uh, news out of Denver Greg Dolchitz is expected to miss multiple weeks with a hamstring injury, which means Adam Trotman, who is already running ahead of Dulcich in the preseason and played more snaps on Sunday, suddenly becomes a full-time starting tight end for Russell Wilson. Much more, it's, it's a deeper league ad, or if you're in a tight end premium league where you're just looking for anyone with a pulse, but just want to mention that, that I do think suddenly he's on the deeper league radar. And of course, due to the Aaron Rodgers news, there will be fantasy players this week maybe looking to pick up a quarterback here, Barry. Who tops your list out of the waiver wired quarterbacks? It's so weird how things work, right? So, um, you know, Jordan Love replaces Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay, and there's a chance that Jordan Love is going to be replacing Aaron Rodgers on a lot of fantasy teams out there as well. To me, he's the best available quarterback that's available in more than 50% of Yahoo leagues. He's available in about 70% of them right now. Look, he led all quarterbacks in passer rating in week one. He was third in yards per pass attempt. I thought he looked good. I thought he looked the part. There are a couple of throws that I think he probably wants to uh, get back. But, I, again, as you mentioned, their there's schedule, right? Yep. Atlanta this week, Saints you don't love, but then home to Detroit and at Las Vegas. So three of the next four for Jordan Love, I think, are pretty good. He gets you a little something with the legs as well. Yeah, I think his stats were a little inflated against Chicago. One, because of the Chicago defense. Yeah. There was a lot of yards after the catch as well, but they all count the same. And if they're able to scheme up those yards after the catch, then that'll be fine. By the way, and he was on the road at Chicago. That's a tough place to play. Um, so, and then the next guy available, you're going to think I'm a homer, but future Hall of Famer Sam Howell. Oh, shocker. Does, look, I'll just say this. Future Hall of Famer Sam Howell in an ugly game against Arizona had two turnovers, only one touchdown pass, and yet was still a top 12 quarterback in week number one. Again, the rushing is very well, uh, very real. He's had two career starts. He's got a rushing touchdown in each of them. He was one of four quarterbacks with a rushing touchdown in week one. They play at Denver this week, uh, which is a better defense than Arizona, but not one that super scares you. 
the only different the only challenge here with Howell, and this is why I like Love above Howell, at least for the f- short term, is the schedule. Commanders at Denver, home to Buffalo, at Philadelphia, and then home to Chicago. So two two decent matchups, two very tough matchups in the next four for Sam Howell. Yeah, also I would like him to run the ball a little bit more. I know he got the touchdown, but only the two rushing attempts as opposed to the five that he had against Dallas in that last game right. last year. But that's that might be the difference between his fantasy value. If he's Listen, at five carries versus two. I, I know, if we saw anything from the Buffalo game, I don't know about this week against Denver, but next week against Buffalo, he's going to be running for his yeah. life. Don't worry, you're going to get more than two <laughs> against Buffalo. Make no mistake about that. And then last one here for me, guys, just if you're streaming defenses, I get it. The Giants looked absolutely brutal, but uh-huh. now they go from Dallas to at Arizona. And um, Arizona's not Dallas. Yeah, from I think the outhouse the Di- to the penthouse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Big Blue as a defense, if you're streaming defenses, Big Blue is pretty interesting as well. And look at the Texans. You know what I mean? Like, give Demeco Ryan's credit. Like, they played tough. Like, yeah. they played above their talent. Four sacks, two turnovers against the Ravens last week. Now they get the Colts and a rookie quarterback and Anthony Richardson and a suspect offensive line. So I do think the Texans, who are available in 99% of Yahoo leagues, if you're desperate for a streaming defense, could be usable this week against the Colts. Yeah, Will Anderson looked like a monster just from the get-go immediately. Yeah. All right, everybody. Good luck this week with your waivers, uh, especially if you lost Aaron Rodgers in fantasy. I feel your pain on that one. Hey, it's Matthew Barry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.